I am a big fan of German pastries, specifically the pudding pretzel. And to celebrate the milestone of reaching 10k subscribers, well, already 11k, we are finding the best pudding pretzel in Trier. We are going to five different locations to determine which one is worth your hard-earned cash. We are starting off with the big dogs. The bakery chain is found in multiple corners of the city. Honestly, this is my go-to bakery since it's quite close by. They have great looking and tasty baked goods, but the sandwiches seem kind of lacking in ingredients. Kind of unfair, honestly, look at this. <laughs> Not only do they have my desired pudding pretzel, but they also have a strawberry pudding pretzel, which is also pretty good and very filling. A perfect looking pudding teilchen with a very generous amount of pudding. Look how much pudding is on the pretzel. And a sugar drizzle on top. I'm not sure how I feel about the... The, the glazing, yeah. yeah. It's good. I love it. Let's give it okay. 8 pudding pretzels out of 10. To the next pudding pretzel. <laughs> oh, on Fridays it's on sale. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I wanted to make this video a long time ago and the time finally came. I was inspired by the French YouTuber Alex making a video about finding the best croissant in Paris. But I'm making it about a pastry that's not so widespread and in a city that is not as iconic as Paris. So... Anyways, our second contender is none other than Lidl. Lidl is well established for their pastries all around the world. Except for France. They have high standards. Oh, <gasps> look at these strawberries. They look so perfect. But upon approaching the bread display, oh no. we were too late to get our pudding pretzel. It's empty! And sadly, they will not be making any more today. Even though I previously purchased a pudding pretzel from Lidl and was quite satisfied with my buy, we needed a direct comparison. So therefore, Lidl has to be disqualified. It is very unfortunate, but we have to move on. I wouldn't mind living in the... Now heading to the one and only shopping mall in the city center, Trier Galerie. More specifically, to the food court. Here it is. I've been eyeing this pudding pretzel for quite a while, simply because of its price. But taking a closer look at it doesn't look the greatest. No. <laughs> it's a dead fly. <laughs> it smells good. Let's give it a try. It tastes good. It seems like a regular pudding pretzel. Based on the look, it's like a five. But taste is good. Six pudding pretzels out of ten. It tastes a bit better than it looks. And it's cheaper than the previous one, so don't judge a pudding pretzel by its imperfections. Further down the street, we see a local bakery chain that I believe is only in Trier, and it's called Mobak. Mobak? I'm not too sure. At this specific location, they have a small selection of items, but I often notice that they are almost sold out in the late afternoon. The pretzels didn't look too promising, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> oh no. Interesting. <laughs> it's happening here. Hello, sir. The bread is completely different. <laughs> it's still covered in glazing. Not gonna lie, this doesn't look too appetizing. I mean, the bread is completely different. <laughs> the pudding is alright. I mean, not too generous. But there's enough pudding to come by. How much was it? 180. I would give it a 5 pudding pretzels out of 10. Alright. Now, passing by the main square and the mysterious white tent event, what are these tents? We see Bibelhausener Mühle. Started off as a mill business in 1647 and now bakeries mainly operating in Rheinlandplatz and Saarland regions. They have many great things, including the seasonal Easter pudding bunny. Yeah. And it has a raisin eye. Mmm, yeah. raisin. And they also have this disorienting mirror that also feels like a window. Wow, it's so clear as well. <laughs> But we managed to get our pudding schleife. Whoa! Oh, and it's breaking. But it does look good, right? Yeah. It looks like it's smiling. Seems a little rough around the edges, but overall looks good. Even though it was falling apart, it was still giving what needed to be gave. But I still want to keep eating it. <laughs> so it's good? Like a seven. Okay. After cleansing all the sweetness with some black tea, we headed to our last destination. Heckman? A local bakery located close to Aldi. A few weeks earlier I saw that they had pudding pretzels. But alas, upon further investigation, no pudding pretzel was found on site. 
They used to have pudding pretzels, but now they don't. In a sigh of despair, we went to Aldi to double check their assortment. But the only thing that slightly resembled a pudding pretzel was this vanilla chocolate twister that I had tried before, and in my opinion, it was too much to handle. So I suppose that concludes our bakery tour. There are probably a couple more bakeries that could have been a participant, but I wasn't sure if they actually sold what we were looking for. The four pretzels that we got to enjoy today were all great contenders. Somehow, even though it's the same thing, they all had their own characteristics and quirks about them. And the winner of this candid competition is... At the end of the day, as long as you have some kind of pudding and the pastry dough is relatively shaped like a pretzel, you have yourself a pudding pretzel. And after tasting each one of them once more, I can honestly say that they all tasted the same to me. Except maybe for the Molbeck one, since the bread was completely different. Bibelhausener Mühle. They had the best pudding to pastry ratio for me. Even though it looked rough around the edges, it still managed to make my day. Thank you so much for watching and being one of the 11k subscribers. I wish you a lovely day and I see you later. I feel like the pudding pretzel from Lidl could have been a great contender. I remember the pudding filling was good, but the pastry dough felt kind of dry. But I think it was worth the price. Nevertheless, apparently they're handcrafted each day. So that's why they're probably not making more of them and they're not being refilled as often as the other stuff is. So... Yeah. <laughs>